Covering Flagler County, officials will begin handing out sandbags tomorrow ahead of potential heavy rain and flooding. And we're told there is a potential for those same conditions here in Jacksonville. News for Jack's reporter Marilyn Parker joins us live after speaking with the National Weather Service of Jacksonville. Marilyn, what are they expecting? They say it's going to be a strong storm depending on its track is what will dictate the local impacts. However, you don't wait on that track. Go get prepared right now. Flagler County officials opened sandbag sites Sunday ahead of tropical storm Ian. The system is expected to bring plenty of rain and is likely to flood. Even just on a heavy day, we get, you know, two inches. Matt Randolph tried to get sandbags Sunday. With the hurricanes, what, they'll dump four, six, I don't, I don't know how much. And if it just sits, then that's the problem. Look, the demand for sandbags is high in this area. This is all that's left after just a few hours of available sandbags. If you couldn't get them today, they'll be available on Monday. I I spoke with a meteorologist with the National Weather Service of Jacksonville about the impacts of this storm and if it'll be any different here in Flagler County as opposed to Jacksonville and if people in Jacksonville should be getting sandbags as well. So you have to kind of evaluate your own personal risk. Are you in a flood prone area? Do you usually, you know, are you, do you pass over roads that normally flood in heavy rainfall? It doesn't look like at, at, at this point that Palm Coast could be hit any worse than Jacksonville area. Um, so still the messaging for us right now is the same heavy rainfall threat, um, dangerous coastal and marine conditions, um, as well as watching for that potential for tropical storm force winds, especially mid to late week. With heavy rainfall and Yeti says it leads to the potential of river flooding. She says they expect the heavy rainfall threat on Thursday. This is why it's important for you to know your zone and plan accordingly. If you head over to newsforjacks.com, you can find a full list of the locations in Flagler County that will offer sandbags as early as 9 a.m. tomorrow. Reporting live tonight, Marilyn Parker, Channel 4, The Local Station.